thank you very much for agreeing to participate in the oral history project of the Arthur W. Page uh, Center for Integrity and Public Communication at the Penn State College of Communications. My pleasure, Lee. Welcome to Washington. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Let me start off by asking you just a little bit about your uh, background. I know you were a journalist for a time, where you're from, and how you came to the practice of public relations. Um, you're right. Started off as a journalist, that is to say, a newspaper reporter. Always wanted to be one. Grew up in Alabama. From the age of about 10 or 12 years old, my brother and I, he's year or two younger than I, started following newspapers, reading newspapers, and in fact started to create rival newspapers that he and I would write and try to sell to neighbors. I followed that, that path uh, toward being a newspaper reporter. My dream was to become a sports reporter or a sports editor of a daily newspaper. Uh, that was my dream for many years. Ended up doing sports uh, reporting in high school and in college, University of Alabama. Ended up uh, editor of the campus newspaper, graduate in journalism, and had a rather brief three-year career in reporting in Alabama in weekly newspapers. And then went to Columbus, Georgia, where I was a political reporter at a daily, and did that until I got the call to Washington from a friend who got elected to Congress and asked me if I would come to Washington and be his press secretary, which was, as they say, down south, tall cotton for a little boy from Lynette, Alabama. So I did that, um, came to Washington, became a press secretary, moved up to being his legislative assistant and finally administrative assistant, did that for a few years, then got into the political realm, did a little campaigning, political campaigning for various candidates, including the John F. Kennedy campaign of 1960, when I was on the speaking circuit in, wait for it, Alabama, <laughs> <laughs> campaigning for, for Jack Kennedy. Not the most popular choice in, uh, in my home state, although uh, there were no Republican candidates uh, um, being favored in Alabama at that time either. Following that, went into uh, uh, industry, first with the chemical industry, then in the mining business, I was, became vice president of a mining company headquartered in New York, where I was uh, what's now called the chief communications officer, I was <laughs> the vice president for public relations, uh, which was interesting. Did PR not only in the U.S., but overseas, because we opened a big copper mine in Indonesia and I was charged with handling environmental, energy, international relations, and corporate communications and opening that, that mine. Following that, I got into uh, counseling and became a consultant, which I've done for the last 20, 25 years of my career. Well, it's certainly been an illustrious one, and so I guess you moved from uh, covering sports to the sport of politics. Yes, and, yeah. Uh, can be confrontational yeah. at times. And the combative world of corporate uh, communications at times. Mm -hmm. 